And I don't want to leave everyone in suspense. Sunday, the better day at the beach. Saturday with showers and storms. That'll be the same case for Baltimore. Looking for some heavy rain to build this way. The temperatures right now are in the 60s. We're at 69 in Annapolis, Bel Air at 64 degrees, and same case in Westminster. A dry start to your Friday. And at times, the sun will break out among the clouds. The winds northeast 5 to 10 miles per hour. We climb to the mid 70s by noon and approach 80 into the afternoon. Now, at some point today, a brief shower or even a thunderstorm could break out. Small chance that you'll actually encounter one, but the odds for those showers and thunderstorms increase a little bit tonight and especially during the day tomorrow. We'll start tomorrow out out in the uh, mid 60s for the overnight temperatures. What we're seeing is a lot of activity in the atmosphere, a low pressure train stretching all the way back into the Midwest, and this is going to have a lot of energy supported in the upper atmosphere. It's a very unusual pattern to see this in the summer. Basically, the jet stream takes a big dip down towards the south. This allows a lot of energy to set up right over that surface low. So there's not only energy with this, but a lot of moisture being forced in. So the southerly winds forces all that rain to push right into the mid-Atlantic. So this could be a soaker for us. We'll even have to talk about some flooding concerns. Now the heaviest rain begins in western Maryland tomorrow morning. So by 9 o'clock on Saturday, a couple showers are possible, Baltimore. You could still get out, run your errands, but have the umbrellas handy. As the day goes on, that rain's become steadier and heavier, especially Saturday evening into the night. It's going to be pouring rain. And the concern is the ground is already so wet. Flooding could start to be an issue. First on the uh, local streams, uh, low lying roads, but then we could even see some of the rivers running a lot higher. At least things do start to dry out Sunday, and next week does look a little bit uh, drier as well. But through Saturday, significant amounts of rain set to fall, one to four inches, shown by the shades of a red that you see around the Baltimore metro, heaviest from Baltimore out towards western Maryland. So, yes, it's already been a very wet month. Uh, any additional rain bringing that flooding concern. Seven day forecast with temperatures in the low 70s today, or tomorrow rather, with that heavy rain, mid 70s on Sunday. That's the day we do start to dry out. But if you plan to be outside, maybe playing with the kids, just keep in mind the ground is going to be quite soggy. We're in the 80s next week. A couple of thunderstorms are possible later Tuesday, but we are hoping to see drier weather through next week, given just how wet it has been this month. Nighttime temperatures will be staying in the 60s over the next couple of days. But yeah, those uh, daytime temperatures finally warm up as we go into next week.